Hi, I'm Victoria, and today I'm here with best-selling author Linda Fairstein to discuss her first children's book, Into the Lion's Den. It's so great to be here with you today, and what inspired you to write this book? Hi, Victoria. Great to be with you. <laughs> Uh, so I grew up, I love books, I've yeah. always loved books, and I think when I was about the age I'm writing for here, 8 to 12, middle grade, I fell in love with Nancy Drew. It was a series of mysteries, I know they're still yeah. out today. Uh, they were first, the first Nancy Drew was published in 1929, almost wow. 100 years ago. <laughs> so it's been a popular series for a very long time. Uh, I write crime novels for adults, and I've just always wanted to write for this age to give to young readers what those Nancy Drew books gave me when I was a kid, just brought me into a world of books and love of reading. And what character do you relate to the most? Ooh, so I, I relate to Devlin Quick in the sense she's the character um, right. whose stories are going to be told in these books. Um, I relate to her in the sense that uh, she's devoted to her friends and family, to she's mom's a single mom, she loves to read. She likes to solve mysteries. I'm smiling because where she's very different from me is that she's much more independent than I was at that age. I admire that in her. Uh, don't think my mother would have liked it. And she's also much more courageous. She's kind of physically courageous, not silly. She doesn't do silly right. things, but physically courageous so that she'll go sort of ahead of her best friend who's visiting from South America. She'll she'll. Yeah. It actually wants to go after the thief herself, so I would say some characteristics like me, but the independence and boldness are things I wrote into her to make her more more lively for readers. Yeah. How did your work as a prosecutor help you become a author? Good. So when I wanted to write and went to college and majored in English literature, my father, whom I adored, uh, used to roll his eyes and say, you know, you have nothing to write about, uh, get a career. So I went to law school, I went to the prosecutor's office, loved what I did there, didn't want to leave, stayed 30 years, but um, I never gave up the dream to write. And so the interesting thing is, both my books for grown-ups, my books for kids are mysteries, and I drew an awful lot of inspiration mm -hmm. from the work I did every day for 30 years. The show Law and Order SVU is based on your incredible work as a prosecutor. And when did you know that was something you wanted to do? So when I got out of law school, there was no SVU, Special Victims Unit, anywhere in this country. Uh, and it was sort of created in my office. Uh, I was a young lawyer and a young woman. There were not a lot of opportunities in criminal law for young women. Uh, so it's not something I dreamed about doing, and right. now many kids who watch these shows and many young adults who watch these shows <laughs> want to do that work. Yeah. So I was sort of um, drafted, asked to do it, and then I just wouldn't leave. It just gave me <laughs> such satisfaction to do and to be able to help people who, like Devlin helps somebody in this book or who's right. against a guy who's done something bad. My work was all about helping people who'd been victims of violence. Violence. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you.